Hello YouTube, the Pipe Professor here. Hope you're all doing well. It's been a little bit longer than I've wanted, but craziness, craziness in life. It's a beautiful day here in the Bluegrass State. Kids are out playing in the yard, and so I thought I would actually finally get in a little bit of a pipe smoke. Been enjoying some cigars, had some buddies over this past weekend and watched UFC 299 if you're into that thing. Um, smoked a lot of cigars, drank a lot of good bourbons, but I haven't had a pipe in a while, and so I thought it was about time, and for this special occasion, I thought I'd open something special. So what I've got here today is McClellan's Blakeney's Best Twani Flake, and this is from 2004, so this is a 20-year-old 10 of Blakeney's Best, the Twani Flake. I have never had this McClellan blend. Sounds like a maraca. It sounds quite dry in there, but it is very puffed out. And I'm going to be smoking it in my Chacombe uh, Raybert. It's a small little clincher pipe. I love that it just hangs there. Um, and this is actually unsmoked. I've never smoked this before. So this will be an inaugural smoke with a 20-year-old blend. So we'll see how it goes. And what I'm pairing it with on this wonderful, glorious afternoon is a little bit of Castle and Key small batch. Uh, bourbon. This is batch number six that they have put out. Uh, it is in central Kentucky here where Castle and Key is located. It's a beautiful, beautiful distillery if you're ever in the area and you get to go to it. Um, and they've just kind of really got off the ground. Their first master distiller was actually a, a female and she was, she's not there anymore, but she's one of the best of the business. So kind of neat. Hmm. Very good. But let's go ahead and crack this uh, Twani Flake, Blakeney's Best, and then um, I'll, whoop, I'll pose a little question to the group. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Uh, absolutely no air hiss, so smell it. Smell it from here. Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. And that smells like apple cider vinegar ketchup barbecue sauce. And believe it or not, the flakes are still moist. I tell you what, I just opened a tin of Steamworks. If you don't follow the Pipe Professor on Instagram, and you have Instagram, go over at Pipe Professor and check it out. I opened up a can of Steamworks, which is one of the newer Cornell and Deal blends. Mold all inside of it really frustrated me, made me mad that we can't get this figured out. But yet here I got a 20 year old tin of McClellan's that is still moist with no mold. Figure it out. Jeremy Reeves, I respect what you do, but you gotta figure that crap out. Anyhow, rant over. Um, wow, it's beautiful, beautiful. All right, I'm gonna break some of this up here and uh, get into the question that I have for y'all. So I'll get a pipe loaded and then I'll be back with you here in just a moment. All right, everyone, got my pipe loaded up here. Getting ready to enjoy some McClellan's Blakeney's Best 20 Flake. It smells just fantastic, beautiful. We're gonna get it lit here. All right, got it lit up. Trying to get it moving. Mm, it's just so rich. It's so rich. Smooth, full flavored. I miss this company. I miss McClellan. Hmm. But we'll get smoking into it and I'll kind of give you my thoughts as we go. I was able to visit Boda Pipes in Greenville, South Carolina when I was traveling a couple weeks ago. Again, I posted pictures of it on my the Pipe Professor Instagram. It's a great shop. 
and I love it that it's a tobacconist pipe tobacco is pipes full stocked humidor and then in the back uh, in case you've never been to Boda Pipes in Greenville uh, they have a bar and a smoking lounge area and there's plenty of places to sit you know old chess and checkers and games you can play a full stock bar fantastic place i wish i lived in the area um, i would certainly be there at their pipe meetings and that would be a regular place to visit just really really awesome so good good for boda but all right what i want to talk about today let's call it liking the bad so if you use any kind of social media Instagram Facebook Twitter or X I don't do TikTok. Uh, I don't know I don't know what I'm about that. but you'll come across post that you can like or heart or you know share or whatever but sometimes I find posts where I'm at a crossroads and I don't really know what to do or how to interpret it. You'll come across sometimes a post that is sharing, I don't want to say bad news, but maybe something sad, disheartening, not good. Facebook gives you the option where like you can heart it or thumbs up or sad teary face or wow or shocked or something like that um, and that's here nor there but like Instagram the only option is to heart it or to like the post but if it's something sad or bad for example I got like someone post up I got fired today I lost my job my mom died this person's in the hospital You want to show people support maybe it's leaving a comment but should you like that post are you saying yeah I like it that your mom died or yeah I like it that you know you're going through that troublesome thing I mean obviously if someone posts up a picture of a pipe and pipe tobacco yeah I like it cool that's that's good but I just lost my I just lost my dog I just got a divorce I just yeah, maybe some people for a divorce, maybe it is, yeah, but I don't know. Do you like it out of support for the individual and them sharing, you know, part of their life? Or should you just go on and you read it and it's like, okay, sorry about that. Sorry you're going through that tough time or whatever that may be. But don't don't put a heart saying that like yeah I love this or I like this. Speaking of which, this is very smooth. Um, I'm not getting any super defining taste at the moment, but the aroma is very enjoyable. It's rich, a rich, d deep. Uh, kind of almost like a dark fruits tobacco. I don't think there's a topping on this. Little Elegant Flu Cured Virginia Flakes. Redolent? Redolent? With sun dappled sweetness. So that's something. Maybe a honey. And pleasantly tangy. I'd give it that. It is indeed tangy. This skillful blended tobacco, mellowed with Blakeney's exclusive toasting process, fills the pipe with pleasure. Quote, choose Blakeney's, where toasting bans the bite for a smoke that's right. End quote. It's not biting at all. It's very smooth. Very cool smoke. Enjoyable. I would say, yes, it's tangy, but I am getting a little bit of dark fruits and maybe a little bit of uh, like a deep, dark maple syrup of sorts. I can get behind that. It's nice. But, local news here put out a poll that said, should the U.S. ban TikTok since it's a Chinese-owned company? And that was the question, and then answer yes or no. It was a poll. Should the U.S. ban TikTok 
if it becomes a fully owned Chinese company or something like that. Hmm. I don't want to get too political because that always stirs the pot. But if you're going to ban TikTok for the sole reason, if you're going to ban TikTok for the sole reason that it's Chinese owned, then we need to be banning a lot of other things too. Toyota, Apple phones, hell, probably Apple. Apple may not be Chinese owned, but boy, are their products made in China. So I just, I don't have an issue with banning TikTok, but not on the sole terms that it's a Chinese owned company. That just seems a bit ludicrous. But I'm open to hear what your thoughts are. I think we should ban it because it makes people stupid. Corrupts young minds. Hypnotizes them into mediocrity and even less. Steals your data, your personal information. I can get behind all those reasons. But just because it's Chinese owned? I don't know about all that. Anyway, solid tobacco. I, I just love this. I wasn't sure on it because I had never had it before, but I did pull the trigger. And I do think it is, I think it's McClellan's who made this. It doesn't say McClellan's anywhere on it, but I do think it is a McClellan's blend. If not, let me know. All right, that's all I got. Hope you're all doing well. Thanks for watching. Hit me up on Instagram at Pipe Professor. I do have a private account over there, so you'll have to put a friend request in, but I usually accept, as long as you're not some creepy person. And uh, visit thepipeprofessor.com. Till next time, see you on down the road. Slow down, simplify, smoke a pipe, sip some bourbon. Cheers. <laughs>